Yo, what's up? I'm QR Sinceri, and we are now about to jump into the future of stable code. But before I get into that, I want you to know that every day I ask myself, what's the future? And I take detailed notes and store them in a journal. You are now watching my journal. If you want to learn more about it and why I do it, go to everydays.wtf. It's a fun place and you get a chance to see all the things that are inspiring me from a futuristic standpoint. With that being said, I really want to jump into this whole notion of stability AI. Now, you might know stability AI for their work in stable diffusion, but that's not what we're talking about today. I want to talk about stable code. So stable code is a large language model for code generation. Uh, why is this important? Well, it's open source just coming from stability. So we, we know that, you know, there's going to be a lot of innovation just derived from this concept. And so it's, it's going to be super portable from that element. But it's also a field that we're seeing a lot of big tech players uh, also play in. I, I also put some notes on everydays.wtf today uh, related to my thoughts around big tech and generative AI. I'll share those in the notes uh, on the this post on everydays.wtf. And if you are already a member, you can go check it out. But one of the things that we do know for sure is Amazon's getting into code generation. They've got a lot of irons in the fire for that. You know, Microsoft's already there with OpenAI and even GitHub Copilot. And we've got now stable code. And these are just three that come to mind. There's a lot more. And I know um, if you want to continue that conversation, we can do that in the comments. But let's talk about stable code. So Stable code is, is, is stability AI, the same group that's behind stable diffusion. And, and that's the text to image generation model. I actually made a record about stable diffusion. It's called keep it stable. I'll play that after the show towards the end, but stability AI is now getting into code generation. So what does that mean? It, it means that you're going to be able to take you know, any code, whether it be Python, Go, JavaScript, C or C++ or, you know, common programming languages that we know, and you'll be able to start coding with just like a text, like, I mean, like right, right in the IDE, like you'll be able to like solve, write a program that would just fix a problem or, you know, say what you want and get that and get that output. And if you've ever seen any of the code generation tools or technologies, you'll probably be familiar with this. You know, OpenAI has probably one of the, the more demoed versions where you literally can just text the OpenAI or ChatGPT's model and you can ask it like, I need a website with hello world and an HTML format and the CSS should make sure the hello world is blue. And guess what? That was a very simple thing to do. Like most programmers would do a hello world type of program on their first commit. Guess what? That that, that AI would do that in, 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 in a millisecond, a tenth of a millisecond, probably. It's that simple. And so you go from needing to build deep knowledge and you now have the ability to just talk to computers and get what you want. And, you know, it's coming from stability AI. So, you know, you've got basically a lot of context, like, you know, 16,000 tokens uh, to make that make sense to anybody. Basically, it's a very large model. And, you know, there's a lot of commentary. I haven't used this model yet, but I do have a record called Keep It Stable. I'm going to share that here with you all uh, right now. Stable, then it's stable. No head bringing in. I've been building with my people. You should tell a friend. Keep it honest. That's the only way to represent. Staying true and making moves. We go. Ahmad knows how to get resources in the right hands to push AI research further. He's building a business that funds AI experts to experiment and build beautiful AI applications that are usable and approachable. So that record is called Keep It Stable. It is by myself in Genesis Renji, and it is available now on Spotify and other streaming platforms. With that being said, I wanted to just cover this. If you've got questions related to uh, the future of technology and you want to learn more and explore with me, you can do so right at everydays.wtf. Uh, that's my journal where I'm taking notes. Today, we talked about big tech and some of the futures that we might see in the generative AI landscape now that most of the big tech companies are getting into that space. And as we can see, even the a little upstart companies like Stability AI are also making some waves and headwinds. With that being said, I will catch you in the future. Thank you for rocking with us today. And as always, keep asking yourself, 
What's the future?